Hey, what's going on, Gemini's? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your uh, one-week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Celtic Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. And where's what do we have? Gemini. What's going on for Gemini's? All right, Gemini. So the, the first thing, the first energy that I'm picking up is that yeah, I feel like it's from you. I feel like I see a lot of frustration, you know. And and it, I mean, we start off with the ten of ten of swords and the eight of swords as well. You know, I feel like there's a lot of feeling of defeat um, with that eight of swords. I feel like it's almost like you feel alone. You know, it, that's usually the self-imposed prison. But I feel like in this read, I feel like it's more or less like you feel like there's so many things up in the air right now. You know, having a hard time making a decision. You know, maybe juggling too many things at once right now. And that sometimes when we get into a place where, you know, that, that feeling of defeat or we feel alone, it, it just feels like there's so many things you know, can mount upon that. And it just feels like we're, we're dealing with more things than we should. So it makes our decision-making even harder. And for Gemini's, we all know, I mean, decisions aren't the easiest thing to make. And, you know, sometimes we can be all over the place. But I feel like with this, this energy, you know, like I said, feeling like you're all by yourself, feeling like, you know, you really don't have anybody you know, I, I do feel, I mean, we're just coming at a retrograde. I, I, I feel like that may have played a part in it. But, you know, I I feel like the people that you wanted to be there or the people that you thought would be there, I, I mean, I feel like you're putting too much focus on them because I don't feel like, you know, it's almost like living in the past and not accepting um, the future or at least and not inviting the future to come forward because I feel like we're, we're we're stuck on something here now what I do see moving forward you know I I feel like there is someone that you already know this is this could be someone that you're in a relationship with or someone that you strictly have a friendship with but I feel like this person is someone that you already know this is someone that you've already established trust with and I feel like you know, with all the other people that you you feel like you can't depend on, I feel like this person's going to really surprise you moving forward. You know, this is someone that I feel like you've already established trust with. Like I said, I feel like you either have a friendship with this person or, I mean, you could be in a relationship with this person and just feel like it's more of a friendship. But I feel like there is a big step coming forward. I see a lot of big changes coming for you with that Six of Wands. You know, and, and I feel like what's happening here is I feel like, you know, there is some communication coming with that communication. I feel like it's going to really relieve a lot of the stress that you've been feeling. You know, I feel like this person is going to, you know, have some answers that you may have been asking the questions to. You know, finally getting some answers here with open communication. And I feel like it's going to release a lot of the anxieties that you feel. And I feel like one of the biggest things here is I feel like this person, you know, they want to be with you. This person knows what they want. If I can get the card up. You know, we have the two of wands and the two of cups. 
And I feel like that communication is coming. And, and when this person tells you how they feel about you, I feel like it's going to, you know, it, it's just going to make you feel like you're not alone. And I feel like that was one of the biggest stresses that you're holding on to. You know, having a hard time making a decision because I feel like sometimes we try to make decisions we don't want, when we don't have all the, you know, we don't, we don't have all the information. But like I said, I feel like this person is going to open up communication with you. And I feel like it, it is going to catch you a little bit off guard because of the situation that you find yourself in with this, you know, with that self-imposed prison, you know, feeling alone, feeling defeated, you know, having a hard time seeing a bright future. You know, sometimes we get stuck in that, I, I like to call it that marshy emotional stage is where everything just seems like it, it's not going to get any better. You know, you, you picture yourself in this dark, you know, you, we've all watched those movies where we were in this dark marsh and it just, it's wet, it's cold, it's dark. You know, it doesn't seem like we're ever going to get out of it. And it just seems like it goes on forever, but it doesn't. You know, and that's what I see moving forward for you. You know, this person that we're talking about here that's open communication, I feel like this person thinks about you all the time. You know, I feel like this person hasn't really... You know, as, as of yet, they haven't really stepped up for you, but that's what's trying to change here. It's finally having somebody step up, someone show up for you. And I feel like it's going to relieve a lot of that stress, you know, especially when this person comes towards you and opens up communication, <clears throat> the certainty of their their communication, like they just, you know, you can just feel that this person knows exactly what they want, what, they, what they're doing, you know, and I feel like we have the rebirth. So, I, you know, it's like the... You know, it kind of represents like that phoenix, you know, when they rise from the ashes, you know, everything seems like it has to burn before it can re be, it be reborn. And with this, it's almost like we have to break down all the old things that didn't work for us anymore and move forward with the things that do. You know, I see new stability coming. And we have that power couple as well. Someone that not only shows up for you, but, you know, puts in the work. Someone that's there for you. Someone that makes you feel like you're right where you belong. And that's how this person will make you feel. I mean, we have a world card. You're exactly where you needed to be. Now, it is a long time coming with this person. I feel like this person... You know, I feel like this person's always kind of been... Like I said, I, I do feel like there is a history with this person. I feel like this person's kind of been there. But they haven't really shown up in the way that you needed them to. You know, there is that protective energy this person holds, you know, very protective of you. But it's almost like the, like the card says, the father. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like they kind of gave you that tough love up until now. Kind of like watching from a distance, but making sure that if anything happened, they'll, they're there for you. You know what I mean? Like, but I feel like a lot has changed for this person. And we have that. You know, the King of Wands, I feel like this person's finally reaching out and grabbing what they want. They're finally taking control. They're finally making choices that they otherwise didn't make. Now, with this person, I see a strong connection. You know, it's very deep. And I feel like, sometimes I feel like we're with the right person. Or we have the right person already in our life. But it, it, it's almost like they didn't do or they didn't act the way they should have acted or they didn't say what they should have said. Sometimes we have that right person and we don't really realize it until we need to. And I feel like that's what's changing here is that they know that you need them now. And I don't think they were sure about that before. You know, they're very nurturing energy coming from this person. Like I said, I feel like, I feel like this person has dug deep. You know what I mean? I feel like this person ha has been changing themselves. And I feel like it, it's almost like the anxiety that you felt, they felt it. You know, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like they've been kind of watching from afar. But now, you know, now they're in. There's no more watching from afar from this person. 
like I said, open up communication, having a fresh new start. And, and, and when I say that with the rebirth as a fresh new start is it's almost like, you know, like I said, I, I, I've said this before, um, you know, two people, and I see this very commonly, um, two people that are meant to be together and they may not see it at the time. It may take years to see it. People always say, you know, love at first sight. That doesn't always work. You know, sometimes you can be with the right person and not even know it. Sometimes you can be with someone, then it not work out, but years later, come back together. You know, sometimes we're with the right person, we're just not ready to see it. And not to put this all on you, because I don't feel like they see it. They they quite seen it either, because like I said, I feel like this person's kind of been watching from a distance. You know, very protective of you, but also keeping their distance. But there's something much deeper between the two of you that needs to come to light. And I feel like that is what's happening. You know, I see a lot of forward movement. I see, you know, new motivation, new stability. And I feel like with all that, you know, I see a lot of emotional fulfillment. You know, I feel like sometimes we get to a place where we feel like we may never be happy again. Or we don't know if we'll ever be happy in the first place. But I see that coming for you. Like I said, you know, we have a, I see a strong foundation. We have that power couple. You know, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card. You know, a lot of good things coming. And I feel like it was, you know, I, I feel like you and them are very similar. But I feel like you haven't really seen that yet. Like I said, you've established trust with this person. You know, this person is there for you, but from a distance. Now, with this person stepping up, you know, we have the the shadow, which is the devil card. You know, I, I feel like that release of anxiety, being able to move forward and stop being held back by the burdens that hold us back. And sometimes... We get held back by things that don't even matter in our life. Sometimes we think about things that we can't change. And sometimes we get stuck in that. You know, I think that we all have moments in life when we get, you know, when we're thinking about something or thinking about multiple things. And, you know, things that didn't work out or things that, you know, didn't make sense. I mean, I feel like sometimes we spend too much time thinking about the past and, and we forget that there's a future coming. But like I said, I, I, I do feel like this person is going to open up communication with you. And I feel like it's going to be a breath of fresh air because I see a lot of, you know, releasing that anxiety, you know, releasing the burdens, finally being able to move forward, seeing happiness, feeling happiness. And, and you know, it, it does come with, uh, you know, I, I feel like we're stepping into a more mature relationship. Now with the same person, but I feel like, you know, we've finally grown up together. I feel like we've grown together. Now it's time to move forward together. You know, sometimes we can be with someone who can be very, a very immature type energy. You know, we can be having fun with each other, but we never really talk about the future. You know, we never really feel like there's a commitment there. We just kind of, kind of loosey goosey, you know what I mean? But with this person, we have uh, Capricorn and Virgo. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But like I was saying, sometimes we can we can be in a relationship with someone. It could be the right person, but until we, you know, it, it's like... I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. It's like when you buy a new car, for example. I mean, I bought a new truck. And every once in a while, I find something I didn't know about it. And a relationship can be like that. You know, you pick the person. You know, you find you find um, some happiness with that person. But then all of a sudden, as you get to know them, you start to realize there's more to it. 
and they start to realize there's more to you. And it's just, it's almost like you, you see more things that you like that you didn't even know existed. You know, and it, like I said, with a new vehicle, it, it's the same thing. When you buy these brand new vehicles, they've got so many gadgets in them. You know, and it's like, you, you bought the vehicle because you liked it. But then you find things that you like, that make you like it more that you didn't even know they were there. You know, it's it's a very, it's like a bonus. <laughs> you know, and then like I said, it's sometimes you can be with someone and you can have a very kind of, you know, different relationship with them. And then when you get to know them better, it's almost like the, the, the relationship evolves. And the reason it evolves is because it needed to evolve. You know, you could be with someone and be very casual with them and then end up being the person that you were meant to be with. You know, we're always evolving. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.